Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back yet again. This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 seven mod channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. Welcome back yet again. We've got another video. It's been a week guys since my last video. I've got my one day off today. So I will be talking about this fragrance that you guys requested. This fragrance right here won all the polls unanimously. And so I guess it's time for me to drop the real deal on this. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel guys. Okay, we are growing. We're past 10K. We're headed toward 20K. So I appreciate you guys for all the support, all the likes, subscribing, and showing your friends, and watching all the videos, the backlog. I've got about 400 videos on the backlog. Now, before I continue, I want to thank a good friend of mine, Travis Gearhart, for sending me a very generous sample of this fragrance. And as you can see, it's almost gone at this point. I really went through this fragrance because... In my opinion, there's a lot of hype towards this fragrance. I think it's a Fragcom born fragrance and I'll explain that in a bit. But also, if you're in the niche world or you're in the fragrance grail collecting world, this might be something that you've overheard and you're like, man, is it worth that really expensive price of like $700? So here it is right here. We're gonna talk about Henry Jack Blue Vanille. Henry Jack Blue Vanille right here is our fragrance review of the day. I'm truly, truly excited to share my thoughts on this fragrance. Now, Henry Jacques Blue Vanille, I've heard about this fragrance a long, long time ago, guys. And the first time I saw a review on this video, probably the only one, I think, on YouTube, was from a fragrance reviewer called Huele Me Mucho. The way he spoke about this fragrance, you know, I could imagine his heart like pounding out of his chest or like there was like a rainbow aura around him because he was really, really into it. And he was saying that it was so damn good that, you know, it's like a must have, you know, it was like the greatest vanilla fragrance ever. And you'll see across the spectrum of fragrance reviews, you'll see a lot of people saying that this is the best vanilla fragrance ever. Now for me, the thing that I had in mind was, how is it the greatest vanilla fragrance ever? Especially if vanilla itself is a pretty accessible, like fragrance ingredient it's literally everywhere like here in our house we have vanilla candles there's vanilla lotion there's like cheap bath and body works like vanilla perfumes and colognes and they do smell good they do evoke the smell of vanilla and there are a lot of vanilla scents from the designer fragrances all the way up to niche so what is up with this one why is this a great vanilla fragrance is it a great vanilla fragrance and of course how does that justify 700 something dollars of buying this fragrance? 700 is pretty damn high for a vanilla fragrance. Like if you ask me right now, before even starting this video, would I pay $700 for a vanilla fragrance? My answer would be no, because vanilla is accessible everywhere. If we're talking about just vanilla, why would I spend $700 on that. To add to the speculation and the curiosity, guys, as you guys know, I went to Henry Jack myself, okay? I went to the house and we did like a top like review based on what they said, not me. And when I was there, like I really wanted to bring up Blue Vanille. I really wanted to say, what about Blue Vanille? And the thing that shocked me the most was that it was never really brought up. So the guy was talking about all these perfumes, Syscore, Roissons Equipage, and he never brought it up. And I was just like, wow, this store, this Henry Jacques store is obviously like pretty much Fragcom proof. Like the store itself probably sells perfumes to like people that are not reading all this Fragrantica stuff, probably not on YouTube, and they come over because they know it's like a really expensive high-end brand, Henry Jacques. So the fact that it was never brought up, I mean, that even added more mystique. And I was like, why didn't he bring it up? Does this thing suck? I have no idea. So here goes Travis Gearhart. He said, man, I still have some blue vanille. Let me go send it to you right now. So here we are. This probably almost done because I tried this probably more than 10 times. Let's go talk about this fragrance. But before that, let's go spray this thing right now. Ooh. So Henry Jacques Blue Vanille, guys. Again, this comes from Henry Jacques, $700 and up fragrance house. Very, very expensive. The thing I find so common with all the Henry Jacques fragrances that I tried that pretty much added to my curiosity of Blue Vanille is that all of them were sophisticated. All of them, especially my favorite, Roy Sans Equipage. Very sophisticated, in fact, that when I was there trying it at the store, 
like I couldn't put a finger on the way that these notes were transitioning, okay? It was that sophisticated. I think that that's the specialty of Henry Jacques. So on the opening salvo, you are going to get some cardamom and geranium, guys, okay? Now, before I talk about the vanilla, let me tell you that this cardamom and geraniums probably the most or one of the most significant parts of this fragrance. Geranium has a rosy nuance and you will get a smell of rose here in the start, but it's a spicy rose, guys, okay? And of course, there's some cardamom in it. And how spicy am I talking about here? I'm thinking like near like pink pepper. It's almost like there was pink pepper in this. In the beginning, that's what sets the tone in my opinion. And I think that that gives you the first impact. So when I think about Huele Me Mucho and he's going, oh, it's so good. I think it's also this part right here because for me, the first part is always, always important. It's so like regal and crazily unisex. And it's crazy because like when I smell that combination of the geranium, spicy geranium and cardamom in the beginning, I feel like, it's such a manly like perfume, right? It's like it's something that I would wear literally with a blazer and with my hair cut like fresh, you know, and it's like it, it's very manly. It's very masculine. But at the same time, if you do look at it from the perspective of maybe a woman, I think that this could fly as well. I think that this could be a very unisex intro as well because it's got rosy facets and cardamom and early on that sweet and spicy nuance just starts off and i think it starts off at the right foot guys and let me tell you that it's very impactful so when it comes to the fragrance itself the impact of blue vanille lasts eight hours super significantly and that means like if you're spraying this like a full spray and you're walking around literally your aura your scent trail will activate the noses of people around you for a good eight hours. And of course, that in itself tells you that performance of significant eight hours, I think that that's important to note. And of course, what really helps right here is the fact that this fragrance is a highly aromatic fragrance. And because of that, it's got a powerful sillage, okay, for a good eight hours, guys. And so when you are walking around, easily is gonna attract the noses of people around you. People are gonna look. If you work at a, any type of environment where you are within close contact of people and you wanna get like the attention of people around you, this will work as well. Most importantly, guys, social venues. Social venues, without a doubt. I think this is freaking perfect, okay? If you go to a party, a soiree or anything like that, that you have to come and uh, wear something classy and you know go out in the evening time, I think, man, this one right here is one of those few fragrances that in my opinion, can do both. I think that this fragrance has both draw-in qualities as well as like a huge sillage quality that's gonna hit people and then at the same time is gonna bring them closer because of that sweet spice and everything nice. Now the trend continues to the mid and you've got tobacco and woody notes. I think cedar might be part of it here and I think that the mix of the woody notes and tobacco really make a nice transition from the spicy cardamom, okay? Because the geranium, what happens with the geranium, guys, is that it's pretty strong even up until the mid. The cardamom, though, does not last until the mid. It transitions into tobacco. So you're gonna get a nice dry tobacco mixed with woody notes. So that's a pretty understandable combination right there, dry tobacco and woody notes. And then the geranium still lingering, the aromatic notes still lingering right here on the mid. And so really what you're gonna get here is a continuation of the start. And that's how, after trying this fragrance multiple times, that's how I understood that a lot of people, why a lot of people like Henry Jacques Blue Vanille, because you're getting continuity. It's not about evolution. It's about having a really, really good start with geranium and cardamom and continuing that great start with the tobacco and woody notes. I don't know if you're like me, but for me, like I like strong starts. I like the start of the fragrance to be amazing. So if you can prolong that olfactory sensation, right, from the start to the mid by pulling in like a nice sweet dry tobacco and woody notes and then keep the geranium going, keep that rosiness, that aromatic rosiness and that spiciness going, I think that that's a bonus right there because I told you before, guys, this fragrance goes strong for eight hours. And I think that 
part of that sensation is the continuity from the opening notes to that tobacco and woody notes. And finally on the dry down guys, you've got vanilla and musk guys, all right? And that's, as you know, it's a pretty great combination. It's also a very classy combination. The way that the vanilla is done here, it's a very realistic, fresh vanilla right here. And then the white musk, of course, sensualizes the fragrance, makes it a sensual dry down for this fragrance. But when we're talking about sensuality here, guys, okay, for both guys and girls, Pretty curious about this fragrance. Let me tell you guys, it started in the beginning. All right, it started in the beginning because the spicy geranium cardamom is pretty sensual already. And basically the vanilla musk combination finishes this fragrance all the way up to the 13 hour mark and makes it sweet, spicy, but also sensual with that white musk. Now, how would I describe this fragrance? It's classy guys. First and foremost, it's classy, C-L-A-S-S-Y. It's pretty damn classy. And if you are looking for a fragrance to put in that category, when you are going to go out in a classy venue or you yourself, you're gonna dress up in a very classy manner, I think that this is one of the perfect fragrances to wear. Not only just classy guys, but it is also attention getting, all right? This fragrance grabs the attention of people around you because of that amazing sillage, that performance I was talking about earlier, eight hours of real significant smell with a scent trail thanks to its aromatic nature. And if you like to get the attention, if that's you right there, like I said, social venues, this is it right here. And finally, guys, this is a sophisticated fragrance. So I hope I answered it right here. Like I said, one of my curiosities, was this just a common vanilla scent? I mean, why would it be a Henry Jack scent if it was just like a vanilla scent? Well, that's because it's a lot more complex than that. It's a lot more sophisticated. The way that it's blended and the way that the notes sort of like reveal themselves I think it's pretty sophisticated. And this is one of those fragrances where I think you're just gonna sit back and enjoy the ride. You just sit back, relax, spray it on, and let it do its work. I think that that's this type of fragrance right here. You don't even need to really break it down because the sensations of sweet spice, aromatic, vanilla, and musk, I think they're all pretty clear to us. We know what those notes are, but the way that it's done here in a classy nature, again, with that sillage and that performance, uh, I think that it makes it a sophisticated vanilla, quite understandable, but still has a very sophisticated nature. Now, this fragrance becomes a skin scent, the spray version, in my opinion, after 13 hours, guys, okay? So you're gonna get eight hours of significant scent, and then after that, eight to 12, in my opinion, it becomes an aura scent, more of a draw-in type scent. Of course, it kind of pulls back the, the, the projection of this type of fragrance right here. And then eventually on the dry down when it becomes sort of like a skin scent, I think it's 13 hours plus. More than enough for you guys to pull off a caper, going out there in a social venue and killing it, smelling classy, expensive, and luxurious. Now the big question is, is this fragrance worth it guys, okay? And of course, this fragrance is not cheap, 500 to $700 for 75 ml only. Is it? worth the price. Now, in my opinion, guys, if you are on that price point already, if this is something that, oh, this is a normal thing, $500 fragrance, you're on your Bodicias, you're on your Rojas, maybe you're even buying Original Adore like it's nothing, this fragrance is going to be a grabber. It's gonna be a grabber, guys, to be honest. If you're looking for a $500, $700 sophisticated grabber that will fit in your Grayly type of collections, I think that Blue Vanille is definitely it. I wouldn't say that it's a super specialized fragrance, but of course, a lot of the people on that price point, guys, they have a lifestyle. Okay, they have a lifestyle. Maybe it has something to do with, you know, shopping, going around the more expensive places, maybe owning a yacht, maybe throwing a few parties for some rich friends. But either way, guys, if you are already on that price point, maybe you're listening to me right now, is definitely gonna be a grabber. It's something that you can use all the time, anytime, anywhere, any weather because of the performance and the fact that it's not like a fade to black type of fragrance, it just starts off really sensual. I think this will be very, very usable. Now, if you are pushing to that price point and you're looking at Henry Jacques Blue Vanille as maybe a grail, I highly suggest you try it because it's not in my list of graily, super sophisticated fragrances. And that's like a plus, all right? It's a plus that it's very, very usable. 
it's not one of those special occasions type fragrances so it's really up to you guys okay if you want to try it try it i'm sure there are decants available like this right here but of course it's a rare decan if you are spending a lot of money to begin with this should be a grabber and if you're not don't think it's a grail okay that's the best way i could describe this and that is it henry jacques blue vanille we are done guys okay in my opinion yes it is a vanilla scent but there's more than that all right i really want to give props to how they made the first part and the mid of this fragrance like no lie from the geranium cardamom to the tobacco and the woody notes i think that that's something to be mentioned i think it's something that's significant i think that that's the one that also grabs the attention of people that wear this and so yeah it's a really nice fragrance and i hope you guys enjoyed this review i try my best to break it down more than just like going nuts over it all right so definitely thank you for voting for this fragrance i have a box of fragrances really close to me and there are a lot of really good ones i'm sure a lot of y'all have heard of or have never heard of i'll be bringing them up very very soon on my next days off i'll thank you again for liking subscribing and sharing my videos thank you for telling all your friends about me and thank you for just supporting okay i really do appreciate that and until the next video guys god bless take care i'll see y'all on the next one peace